the way we eat has changed more in the last 50 years than in the previous 10,000. But the image that's used to sell the food, it is still the imagery of agrarian America. You go into the supermarket and you see pictures of farmers. The picket fence and the silo and the 30s farmhouse and the green grass. It's the spinning of this pastoral fantasy. The modern American supermarket has on average 47,000 products. Now they're tomatoes all year round, grown halfway around the world, picked when it was green, and ripened with ethylene gas. Although it looks like a tomato, it's kind of a notional tomato. I mean, it's the idea of a tomato. on the menu, and they created a revolutionary idea to how to run a restaurant. 
and they basically brought the factory system uh, to the back of the restaurant kitchen. They trained each worker to just do one thing again and again and again. And by having workers who only had to do one thing, they could pay them a low wage, and it was very easy to find someone to replace them. It was inexpensive food, it tasted good, and this McDonald's fast food restaurant was a huge, huge success. That mentality of uniformity, conformity, and cheapness applied widely and on a large scale has all kinds of unintended consequences. When McDonald's is the largest purchaser of ground beef in the United States, and they want their hamburgers to taste everywhere exactly the same, uh, they change how ground beef is produced. The McDonald's Corporation is the largest purchaser of potatoes, and one of the largest purchasers of pork, chicken, tomatoes, lettuce, even apples. These big, big fast food chains want big suppliers and now there are essentially a handful of companies controlling our food system. In the 1970s, the top five beef packers controlled only about 25% of the market. Today, the top four control more than 80% of the market. You see the same thing happening now in pork. Even if you don't eat at a fast food restaurant, you're now eating meat that's being produced by this system. You look at the labels and you see farmer this, farmer that. It's really just three or four companies that are controlling the meat. We've never had food. This is huge. can't lose weight, and while they're sick as ever, you're not even eating real food. You just heard it right there. Two to four different corporations controlling all the food that everyone eats. And ladies, we got seats up front here too, if I'm not loud enough. Am I loud enough back there? No. no. Good. <laughs> if I get a little soft, just give me the fingers up there, the index one. <laughs> I'll go from there. <clears throat> I had a foreign lady a few months come into the office. She said something very interesting. She's like, in my country, no one is this sick. She's like, there's diabetes, there's heart disease, there's this going on. Everyone's sick and overweight. And she's like, she specifically said, what is in the food here? Specifically said that. <clears throat> we have a Gary Morganer, Olympic runner. Goes around traveling, eating all around. We got some seats up front, guys. And he's like, I don't crave sugar anywhere else in any other country other than the United States here. This high fructose corn syrup is killing everyone here. Absolutely slaughtering and pushing people into diabetes. And that's something you don't want to get behind on. Diabetes and getting behind on your health is something you do not want to babysit these days. The cost of medications, Insurance dropping you, insurance premiums going up. That's something you don't want to get behind here. I got an awesome lecture. You guys are going to learn a lot of good stuff here tonight. Good. First malfunction. <laughs> that movie is Food Inc. right there. You can rent that for five bucks or you can buy the DVD. It is going to explain a ton of stuff. Know where your food's coming from. The food is making us sick. Three to four different corporations controlling all the food you eat. <clears throat> Faster, fatter, bigger, cheaper at the expense of your health. Genetically modified foods are killing you. Thanks to Monsanto. <clears throat> Corn, soy, tomatoes, 
more cases of E. coli. You want to know the real reason why all this E. coli is coming through? And the cows, they're grain feeding these cows. They should be eating grass, mowing, eating it, crapping there, and moving on to the next set of grass. They're stuffing these cows in little houses, eating corn. They're crapping where they're eating. And you see the rest of this video, you'll see their ankle high up in manure, and you'll see how easy it is to get this infection of E. coli and why it's a little bit more prevalent now. High fructose corn syrup, corn fed animals. Chickens are made in 49 days versus 70 days because they're stuffing them full of estrogen and stuffing them full of steroids. Stuffing them more of estrogen because they want the breasts to get bigger and they want the chickens to get bigger. These chickens are falling and breaking down their legs because they came in, they're growing so fast, they came and hold themselves up. You'll see that in the rest of that video there. I have some pretty cool cases the last few months. March was pretty crazy. We've had uh, some people falling apart here recently. 27 year old male bipolar, three, two months after using heavy marijuana and cough syrup. Third episode in five years also brought on by marijuana. Uses or has a lot of paranoia. Vegetarian diet. I tell you what, the side effects of these three medications was worse than what his original issue was. He's been to U of M, he's been to a whole bunch of different hospitals. I just about turned around and be like, you know, this is beyond our control here. You're a little too much for us. You're a risk in our office. His mom was like, no, you, I can't go anywhere else. They take him to Bosra, they take him to Kingsford, wherever they're going to take him to, they're going to over medicate and just completely tranquilize these people. It's just like, I can't have it. He was in the news trying to kill himself one weekend that it was in Friday, it was in the news over the weekend, came back in Monday. This is what I did, three tuna oil, put them on some whey protein, 10 to 20 calf flex, G to calm, calm them down, and 10 to 20 min checks to calm that brain down. I specifically told his parents, if I could get a protein shake and an IV in him, I'd probably run an IV protein shake on this kid. That is how much I wanted him have protein in the system to mellow and stabilize the sugar. You guys don't realize your mood heavily follows your sugar. Your sugar starts tanking, your mood starts tanking. I could pinpoint every hypoglycemic person driving on a rope because they're the ones giving you the middle finger and cutting you off in the morning. Those are the ones skipping breakfast, eating bagels, waffles, cookies, whatever the deal is. He has some good and bad days he's been in recently. This kid has had a complete 180. It's absolutely amazing. He's had some great family support. He's back at his job. But I tell you what, getting him off those medications. Oh, great. <laughs> Murphy's Law, if you go wrong, it's going to go wrong. So, very important. Very important to keep that sugar stabilized. This is my friend right here. I had to dig this out of him. This was a very interesting case. 28 years old, depression and weight gain. He's coming on in, and I was talking to him over the weekend. I'm like, what's going on with you? I'm like, how did this all happen in a few years here? You know, I can kind of see the busy eyes. We've got the Lysine thing to help chill him out. That's an awesome product. We get home run product, or home run results with that. But I had to dig it out of him. Like, there's something more going on. I finally got it out of him. He had a gallbladder removal surgery. I was like, that completely makes all the sense now. I'm like, I guarantee you, your depression and your waking went up after that surgery. He's like, he's like, I cannot believe you just said that. How'd you know that? I'm like, your brain is half fat, half cholesterol. You're starving your brain of fat because you're not digesting your fats anymore. And the bile is constantly dripping on your gut to where you need to eat to satisfy that gut. 
And he's like, I cannot believe you just said that because my mom's a medical doctor at hospital. She's a pathologist. My dad's a pharmacist. And no one told me anything like this. <clears throat> he was completely amazed with the products I put him on. Notice that there's some results in the first week. He's like, I picked the wrong card with Larry Moe and Curly as far as surgeons because my liver enzymes were up. They did an ultrasound. They said I had some sludge in my gallbladder, and they decided to take my gallbladder out. I'm like, you didn't even have pain with it? He's like, no, not at all. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. This is what we're dealing with. You will hear this all the time. Doctors tell you, oh, it's a useless organ, too. I'm going to reiterate some of the important factors from Dr. Tent's lecture because you need this pound it in your head. So these are the things that are killing everyone here. High fructose corn syrup, MSG, and some other cool things I'm going to break down individually here. Use real sugar. You want to watch a real cool DVD? I'm going to make you guys all choke on your gum right now if anyone's chewing it out there right now. Sweet Misery is a great DVD. You can view it free on Mercola. The aspartame is absolutely killing everyone. You're going to see an increased rate of brain tumors from aspartame, vaccines, the SV-40 that were in the polio cubes, and EMF, those glioblastomas, all those blastomas, a lot of that has some EMF correlation. Absolutely. Those three things are going to kill people. And I got some prime examples. This is all the side effects of aspartame. You cannot find sugar gum anymore. Anyone chewing gum, you know it's got aspartame in it. It's in everything. Look at all these side effects right here. Brain tumors, epilepsy, seizures, leukemia, lymphoma, birth defects, yada yada. The list goes on. I'll give you some prime examples. We got a patient that came in today, or a month ago. He had what he thought was a stroke. Comes in the office after he was in the hospital, we check his carotid artery reflexes. We're like, no, that's strong, that's strong. We're cleaning your arteries. This doesn't make sense. Was this a hypoglycemia thing? What'd you eat? Did you eat? You know, I had lunch. I had a burger and I had a Diet Coke. Oh, Diet Coke, huh? How often do you have these Diet Cokes? Oh, at least twice a day, maybe even more. Boom, bingo. <clears throat> he completely stopped the aspartame. Stop his diet coke, all those diet beverages, use real sugar in moderation. Stay away from the aspartame. I'm telling you, it's a nightmare. MSG and high fructose corn syrup, you need to start checking these labels. Monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. MSG. Check these labels. That high fructose corn syrup is destroying the hypothalamus and brains. They've done taking out cadaver brains, check out the hypothalamus, and it's absolutely destroying the hunger centers in your brain. You want to know why you could eat a Chinese dinner and be hungry two hours afterwards? It's loaded with that MSG. It's in everything. You really need to read these labels very carefully. Corn syrup, it's cheaper, it's in everything. It's absolutely killing everyone, yes. Yeah, that MSG goes under like 25 different names. Yes, and absolutely. You know, other than maybe two, I don't know the rest of them. Yes. And I try to remember them, and it's really a, it's a hard thing. Uh, you don't have a list, do you? No. Mercola had a good one. I was going to grab that there. I know you can find it on Mercola.com, but yes, absolutely. It's killing people. It's constantly pushing you into hunger mode when you're not hungry. <coughs> Serotonin. This is your happy hormone right here. Tryptophan. We went over this during the sleep lecture. Tryptophan. It's converted to 5 HTP. 5 HTP. This is serotonin. Serotonin to melatonin. Serotonin deficiencies. Weight gain, depression, sleep deprivation. These help great with the comfort eating that people get into. I'll give you an example. Myself. My girlfriend's fiance's dog passed away. A week and a half ago, she made a batch of cookies. One cookie turned into two cookies, two cookies somehow turned into three, and I don't know where it stopped, but it was a cookie coma afterwards. <laughs> this is an example of that. Five HCP, two to three, and before your meals in the morning, before your meals in the afternoon. You have a crappy day, you're like, I'm just gonna go for the candy jar, spike my sugar, and get a little boost of mood from that. 
This is you right here, 5 HTP. Hormones and antibiotics, milk, stay away from it. Growth hormones, estrogen, and all the hormones in milk. If you want to be fat like a cow, drink cow's milk. Raw milk, if anything's the best. I'm not going to have milk, period. Bacterial patients will stay away from milk like crazy. Casinate will feed those bacterial infections like crazy. What about yogurt? Yogurt's fine. It's a little bit, yogurt and cheese is a little bit more processed. That's not a problem there. Alternatives. Almond milk, rice milk, non-GMO soy milk. And I'll tell you what, right now you guys need to know, I'm very sketchy about the silk soy milk. I don't think that's non-GMO anymore. If you watch this DVD with Food Inc., you will realize the issue Monsanto sending all his little private investigators to these farms. Very sketchy with any soy. I'd be very, very sketchy. <clears throat> you know the GMO soy is going to act as estrogen. Guys, it's going to target the prostate. Women's going to target the breast. Too much of this estrogen crap going on. You need to clear the chemicals out of your system. The cruciferous complete, the SP green food, the nitro greens. Clear the chemicals, the pesticides. Get this stuff all out of your system. You don't want it in your system. <clears throat> High density foods, westonprice.org. Foods, this is key, foods raised are grown. Dr. Price's research demonstrated that humans achieve perfect physical form and perfect health generation after generation when only consume nutrient dense foods. You eat nutrient dense foods, you won't want to keep eating and eating. This is key. America is undernourished and overweight. They're eating more and more foods to get the minerals that aren't in the food anymore. Back 100 years ago, you could probably get about 60, all 60 minerals in those foods. Today, you're only gonna get about 11 or 13 in there. Nutrient dense foods. Thyroid, come into the office. We've been muscle checking people's thyroid levels. We can tell who the pop and coffee people are by testing your iodine levels. No one's getting iodine in the north here. It's very deficient in the soils. Michigan, Illinois, Ohio, Indiana, very deficient in iodine. That powers your metabolism. Women will know if they're deficient in that iodine, your breasts are gonna be sore, you're gonna be cystic, and ovaries and whatnot. Very simple stuff. Wake up your brain, Dr. Tent and I play this on a normal thyroid level. If you get blood work done and your thyroid's out of whack, and you're used to Synthroid and Armor, GTA Forte, it's the equivalent of armor and synthroid, and we kick that, those medications butt on blood work with that one product. Biotics Research, which that product is from, is licensed on a pharmaceutical uh, company, and they follow the GMPs of pharmacy companies, so that's some good quality stuff. The things that are shutting off people's thyroids, fluorine, bromine, fluoride, are all gonna take the place of iodine in the body where iodine should be, and the people hitting the caffeine too hard. Just keep that in mind. Omega threes versus sixes. <coughs> sixes are your grains. Threes are your oils. Your good oils, anti-inflammatory oils. A lot of people are getting their sixes, whether they think they're not getting them or not, because of all these foods and food ink will explain it. They're corn feeding all these animals to get them fatter. So you, if you're not eating them directly, you're getting through those foods. There. You need more omega threes in your diet. The typical American diet has too many omega-6s in it, your ice cream, your burgers, your french fries. It's absolutely huge. A lot of people are in a chronic inflammatory state having too many omega-6s in their body. Look at this AV tech here. Medications. Birth control pills, steroids, antidepressants, and estrogen are some of the medications making people fat. Oh, I tell you what, we've, steroids will probably do it the fastest, estrogen second, and likewise with the other ones there. So these are some of the medications working against people here. Chromium and shakes, these are for you sugar holics out there, you sweet tooth people. Three chromium 
Pyclonate, three Kplex GTF will curb the cravings for carbs. Dr. Tent loves pounding his chromium. I find two protein shakes works a little bit better. I can skip time, sometimes skip the chromium. If I do a protein shake, I'm doing, gonna do one first in the AM. The second one's gonna be in between 3.30 and 5 p.m. And all the staff could tell if I didn't have that second one, because I'm in the candy jar those days that I'm not having that second one. Second protein shakes help stabilize that sugar. Get one that you don't have to choke down, that's manageable, that tastes good. Chocolate one, that Zorax, Zorax works good. Something that tastes good. I'll be talking about a different one that you have. The oats and whey tastes very good. It's got some more carbs in it. That's why Dr. Tent doesn't talk too much about it. It creatures more protein. I'll get a little bit more on that later there. High cortisol. The cortisol people. Okay. Easy way to know if you have too much cortisol in your system is if you have a hard time falling asleep at night. Three ADHS in the AM and three with lunch help control that cortisol. I'll get into a little bit of the cortisol diet to control it, which is a biot specific biotics research diet a little bit later on. I'm gonna go through some diets. I'm gonna go through some fitness plans. I'm gonna start from basic stuff to more advanced. Genetics. These are the genetics working against people. <clears throat> Got endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. The majority of people having a hard time losing weight are ectomorphs. So I'm going to break this down specifically. This is from the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Ectomorph. Soft body and larger waist, underdeveloped muscles, round physique, lost weight difficult, or weight loss difficult, gains fat easily, carbohydrate sensitive. This is why chromium works great. This helps you metabolize that glucose better. Slow metabolism. Endomorph. If you're an endomorph predominantly, You'll find that, that diet alone without exercise will not be enough to bring your weight down because your slow because of your slow metabolism, aerobic exercise and weight training are needed. Be careful, carbohydrate consumption due to high insulin levels, syndrome X. Diet recommended are lower carb diets such as the zone diet or South Beach diet. I'll be going a little bit more into that one a little bit later. Ectomorph. Goals for fat loss here. Everything you see tonight, if you miss anything, I'm going to have this all on an email through Yahoo. That you, I'm going to give you the username and password so you can hop on there and pull up these PowerPoints and I'm videotaping this here too. Under 30, over 30. For weight fat loss, workout goals. Cardio five days a week for someone under 30, 30 minutes a day, over 30. 40 minutes a day. Resistance, about the same, three days a week, three muscle groups, three sets, different intensities, 100% intensity for someone under 30 and 90% intensity for someone over 30. Diet, this is huge. 50% protein in the diet, 15% fat, 35% carbs. You want more protein, high protein, low carb diet. Naturally keeps you trim. You don't have to completely cut out carbs want to battle it out more, you want the protein. It's from the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Mesomorph, these are your natural athletes. Most of your athletes, the sports people you see on TV are genetically gifted people. This is who everyone's jealous of. Athletic, hard body, hourglass shape, mature, muscular mass. These are this, all the athletes. Everyone you see on TV, exception of sumo wrestlers and Shaquille O'Neal and some other guys as well as your athletes here. Low carb diet is not recommended for these people as they need more of the carbs and the higher insulin levels and mesomorphs tends to contribute to more of the muscle gain than fat storage. Ectomorph. These are your tall skinny people. I mean, obviously these are your basketball players too. These people are hard gainer. Tall, lean, flat chest, fragile, lean, lightly muscled, smaller shouldered, 
hard to gain weight. They try and try to gain weight. These are the ones that can eat whatever because they're naturally, naturally lean and thin. So they eat all sorts of unhealthy things and they stay slim. Everyone's jealous of these people because they can eat whatever. Low muscular strength and find it hard to gain muscle. These are the ones that have a hard time gaining the muscle here. Three food cravings. You got fat, sugar, and salt. Being nourished on the 91 things will help you control your food cravings. What are the 91 things? 91 things, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids. How do you get them? The daily protocol. This is the daily protocol for everyone. Six gallon, two multi-mins, your PDCM, one teaspoon of that. That's your macro minerals, that's your micro minerals. And your oils, I do about two tuna oil and two linen B6, or you can just get them all those oils in one with two optimal EFAs. Everything outside of that that you do is something specific for yourself. This is the general protocol right here. Diet types. This is this is what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to tag all along through here. Ethnicity, Mediterranean, Ethics, South Beach. This will, this is a pretty interesting one right here. This is the human growth hormone one here. This will be pretty interesting. It's probably the one of the most. This is probably the, the most aggressive diet on here. Food combining, abs diet, cortisol diet, and calorie restriction. National Geographic went around and studied what they call these blue zones. Sagittarians, the people who live over 100 years, and they found out certain characteristics and things that were in common of each of these groups. So live in over 100 here. Move, know your purposes in life. Downship, work less, slow down, rest, take a vacation. That doesn't sound American here, does it? 80% rule. Stop eating when you're 80% full. Red wine, beliefs, your tribe. We mention this all the time in our office. The people that really get whacked with their metabolism and trying to you know, that mess up their digestive tracts, try these fad diets and try to eat how their people do not eat. We always tend to say, eat how your tribe eats. When you mix an American person with an Eskimo in their diets, you'll make them both sicker than ever. Try to eat an Eskimo diet versus an Eskimo eating an American diet. You'll make them both sick. It's a shock to their system. You ever see the white swap where they had the one family that ate raw food and the other family that didn't? The family that grew up on the raw foods Went out to dinner one night at a restaurant, had some cooked steaks, and they got sicker than ever. Mediterranean diet, this is huge. This is most supported by the literature and research. The New England Journal of Medicine showed that restricted calorie Mediterranean diet, low carb that is, could be even more effective for weight loss than a low fat diet while also offering other health benefits. A low fat diet is a high carbohydrate meal. So carbs, we all know, made everyone bloated. They've scared the public <clears throat> with Lipitor, Crestor, everyone's scared with this cholesterol thing. The medical doctors have pushed everyone away from a high fat, high protein diet to a, the low fat diet, which is high carbs, Everyone blew up. A large study published in the British Medical Journal showed that healthy people who followed the Mediterranean diet had a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This is a diet that's rich in omega-3 oils using your good oils. It's all about good oils and good fats. Good oils and good fats feed your skin. That's why you'll see a lot of Mediterranean women with beautiful tans and good skin. Atkins diet. The Atkins diet involves restriction of carbohydrates. So more frequently switch the body's metabolism from burning glucose as fuel to burning fat as fuel. It's called ketosis. 
this is nice, but short term it's nice. As long term wise, I would not approve of this diet. People want to say things, oh, it's, it's gonna, I heard it affects the kidneys. If you have predisposing kidney issues, yes, it may affect the kidneys. Here's the thing with the Atkins. Here's the thing with the high protein diets. When you're constantly feeding yourself sugar and carbs, the sugar gets in the body, breaks down as glucose, <clears throat> insulin kicks up in your body, pushes the glucose in the cells, and what you don't use, you store as triglycerides, as fat. So if you're constantly feeding yourself all the sugar stores, you're just building on the fat. Now, starving and cutting back on the carbs uses the fuel of glucose as a source in your body. And if you're not, don't have glucose in the blood system, it starts breaking down fat cells, ketosis. That's why that diet actually works pretty well. And just naturally, a high fat, high protein diet keeps you lean there. That's pretty interesting there. I got a cool book here, Life Without Bread. It's from some German doctors. This is the guy who came along before Atkins did and made that whole fad diet here in America. <coughs> Got some cool books here for you guys if you want some. Uh, South Beach diet, the key thing on here is it replaces bad carbs and bad fats, good carbs and good fats. It's not, it's not, it's, High in protein, low in carbs. It's not necessarily an Atkins diet. It kind of got pushed like an Atkins diet because it came a lot out a little bit afterwards with that. It's good for the carbohydrate sensitive people. I'm going to give you guys all kinds of little tips and little things. And I'll let you go off in the direction you want to. There's many different things. I'm going to point you out and things I approve of and everything. I'm a fitness freak. I'm in the gym a lot. And I know for sure. Fitness increases your metabolism. Metabolism increase is going to help you shed the pounds. So diet alone is very hard today to get your weight down. HCG diet here. This is the human growth hormone diet. Dr. Simeon's here. More information, you can go to hcgdietinfo.com. He's the founder of this diet. This diet pretty much includes a 500 calorie a day diet, and you're getting an injected, which if you want to know what that is portion size, you're pretty much looking at it right there. It's not that much food, and you're getting either injections of human growth hormone to help burn off fat, and the literature supports it's pretty healthy, or it's not, um, not too many complications with the human growth hormone. The alternative to that, the biotic scaminol forte, cytosine PT, HPT, that's our alternative to human growth hormone. But you will shed a pound or two every single day doing this. And we had some patients do this. We are not licensed to give injections. That's something that medical doctors will have to do. If you're interested in this type of a diet and want to get that aggressive and be that serious, I would research that diet first, maybe even read the book, and then further consult and check things out. But we have some patients do this and they keep the weight off of this. It's pretty cool if you want to get that aggressive. Okay, here's the Food combining. Food combining is a process of separating specific foods and only eating certain ones at certain meals for better digestive health and weight loss. It's more for digestive health, but people were finding that they were losing weight with digesting their foods better. If you're eating protein, all you gotta do is kind of follow this chart and you'll know eating which with what is good and bad. If you're having a steak, only eating vegetables is good with that. If you have some carbs and starches, it blocks your hydrochloric acid pumps in your stomach and you don't digest your meat as good. Fruits, 
eat fruits alone, obviously everything's poor going from there and back and forth. Starches, your potatoes, your yams, squash, corn, just eat that with more vegetables. Going over here with the protein kind of blocks that absorption. It's very interesting. A lot of doctors are hopping on that. We see a lot, half of our day is digestive problems. For some doctors that they, you know, I got a book here, the No Grain Diet by Mercola. A lot of these docs are just completely telling them get off grains, get off grains, even if, even if you're if you don't have celiac issues or if you're gluten and not gluten intolerance, people still cannot break down that gluten. It's causing digestive problems. Abs diet. I like this book here. This is one of my favorites here. You need eight to ten percent body fat to see your abs. Now I'm gonna break. I'm gonna explain this because you see all these stupid commercials and they are so stupid on TV. Oh, do this ab roller twenty times for three days a week and you're gonna be jacked like this guy. Oh, the, the, the fit my favorite one, bow flex. 20 minutes a day, three times a week. You're gonna be jacked like this guy working out on it is. It's not like that. You need specific body, your body fat needs to be at a specific point to see your abs, period. These are some of the little facts in this book here. 47% decrease in dementia by walking three hours a day. 22% drop in heart disease risk by burning 1,000 to 2,500 calories a week exercising. 80% every pound that you lose is fat if you exercise regularly. The average body fat percent of males is 19%, females 28%. The hips, the breasts, the women are naturally going to have more body fat than the men there. But it's very deceiving seeing these things on TV and they catch everyone on Saturday morning when everyone's just chilling on the couch, you got nothing else better to do. Had that big meal Friday night, and you're thinking, crap, I should probably exercise. And, oh, look at all these cool things on TV. What could I get here? They catch a lot of people on that kind of stuff. Cortisol diet. This is specifically through Biotics Research. If you're interested in doing this, contact the office. We can order you this kit. This ad addresses the cortisol factor in people here. It's a physicianly, physician designed to test the weight weight management program available exclusively through healthcare professionals. Control it is what it's called. Go to Biotics Research, you'll see the control it part there. You look that up, this was designed and to be simple and easy to follow, targeting the three roadblocks to weight loss. And this, their roadblocks are mainly hormone imbalances, neurotransmitter imbalances, food sensitivities, and hormonally, the cortisol factor is at ADHS to help bring that down. People are stacking on weight around their waist and their thighs and the upper of the neck with that cortisol. It's huge. We live in a stress, anxiety. Everyone's on high alert. Trouble falling asleep. Cortisol's up too much. <coughs> they do tests, saliva testing. You gotta go through some specific labs, find some good ones, because if you go to send saliva to a whole bunch of different labs, you get totally different results. We're picky about what labs we go to. We don't run too often in, in the office. Calorie restriction. This is key right here. It takes 3,500 calories to equal one pound of body fat. Generally, dieters dump an average of 1,000 pounds of calorie per day in an effort to lose two pounds of body fat a week. Overconsumption is a problem in America. Eat serving sizes. Eat serving sizes. Now you look at these boxes and the foods, you want to know what a serving size of steak is? About the size of this cell phone right here. A deck of cards. Everyone's overeating in the Costco mode, want to get more for less. Better portion sizes for the prices. You're gonna you're gonna pay for it in the long run. Benefits of calorie restriction includes improving markers of youth uh, metabolism, insulin sensitivity, cardiac health, and cognitive function. This is from the Life Extension magazine from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. I don't get too complicated if I want to dump a pound or two. 
I'm going to cut out meal and replace it with a protein shake. It is the simplest thing to do to cut down some calories. You could do a simple food journal and you could tally up the type of calories you're taking in throughout the day. And I didn't have it printed on, our, on the PowerPoint here, but Life Extensions has that one product that helps you suppress your appetite if you're interested in doing a calorie restriction. Super CLA has raw in it, some stimulants that has naturally suppresses your appetite too, so that's, that works great too. And I'll be talking a little bit more, a little bit more about that because that's one of my favorite products. I'm going to get into some fitness stuff here. I'm going to start very basic. I'm going to build up. It didn't take you two weeks to put on 50 pounds. So you're not going to take it off in two weeks either. And your body is a science. You just need to learn it. <clears throat> Exercise increases your metabolism. The more you can increase your metabolism, the more you're going to burn the pounds off. I want to talk first about some pre-workout programs. Dr. Tank cleans out his arteries before he does his hockey stuff. Depending on what age you are and what's going on in your life, it's always good to have a game plan and do some things prior to doing your thing here. You're going to clean out your arteries. The Tensoruda 6-4 power sign, 3 months, works great. If you have a history of heart attack, stroke, any obstructions of the heart, that runs in family. Homocysteine, C reactive protein, fibrinogen, and lipoprotein A. You should run that. Make sure there's no weird genetic thing running in the family because we kind of play playing in the arteries a little different if something runs high as far as those four factors there. Strengthening your heart. This is what I do. When I start getting into some cardio stuff and I'm going to push it, I'm at least going to do 10 cardio plus a day. I could have put all the three Detroit runners that died in the Detroit Marathon Runner, if we had them on Cardio Plus and Cataplex B, probably could have saved their lives. We have put so many hearts back in rhythm, rhythm and pulses back in rhythm with those two supplements alone. And the people that are really going to make your pulse weak and irregular are the ones who are pounding too much sugar because it's draining that B1, that thymus, <coughs> which is going to make that heart kind of flutter and jump around. You see this all day long. Detoxifying diets. There's many of them out there. I'm only talking about three. I've done these three. I'll give you the ups and downs of each of them. I'll tell you, the, the isogenics is probably the easier one on the bottom there. Some cool stuff. I got a folder. If someone's interested in the standard process, purification program, some cool stuff. Anyone who's serious about wanting to dump some pounds, cleanse themselves, get in a workout routine, detoxing and dieting kind of goes hand in hand. It's kind of cool doing a little detoxifying diet before you get in a workout routine. You'll get a little boost of need of energy and not be so lethargic. Standard process purification program mainly includes the SP Cleanse. These are the products: SP Complete, Whole Food Fiber, Gastro Fiber, and SP Green Food. Those are the products you're gonna need. And it's, you're gonna mainly be doing shakes. You can do you can do some meats in there, but mainly it's fruits and vegetables with no pesticides on. You want organic stuff for that? Uh, we get a lot of patients that pound juice are too hard, we are not using good quality products, the pesticides will push them into pancreatitis. They'll have pain on the left side, and they'll have nausea and be thrown up all the time. This works great here. I did this for about 10 days. After three days, I got sick of eating fruits and vegetables, and I just did the shakes. So I'm being honest with you here. Got a nice boost of energy. You'll drop a few pounds depending on how long you do it. Now they have a post purification program. Anyone who's seriously interested in that, you could check out the website or if someone wants to grab this folder and take that. I've got no problem with that at all. You got a lot of cool stuff. You kind of just got to pick and choose what suits you. I know everyone's got busy lives here. And I'll go through. Sometimes it's easier doing something like this when you're busy 
versus sitting around all day. If you're sitting around all day and you want to do a diet like this and try to starve yourself, every commercial is food. <laughs> you're gonna, it's called self-torture. You're going to torture yourself. Absolutely torture yourself. When I did this next one coming up here, the master cleanse, I was in school, I was constantly busy, I had no time to think of food. This is pretty cool. It's probably your most economical one right here. <clears throat> Maple syrup, Celtic sea salt. The book, you don't really need the book. It's very thin anyways. You can probably look it up on the internet. Smooth move. You're using organic lemonade, putting cayenne pepper in there and maple syrup and drinking that all day long. It's, and it sounds like crap, but I tell you what, it it's not, it works and it's not as bad as what you think. You'll be hungry for the first two days and it just all, the hunger goes downhill and it's just easier. If you're busy all day long, it's easy to do this. This one's pretty simple and economical here. It's not that bad. You can kind of, I didn't like as much cayenne pepper in mine. I kind of went a little easier on that. Some diabetic people worry about the sugar and the syrup in there. It's not that much syrup and the book states it's all right for them to do that there. So if you want to do some detoxing and some, or some diet or detoxifying stuff, kind of pick and choose here. There's many of them to do. I believe that's a seven, seven to 10 day thing. I probably did it six and a half to seven. <laughs> it's important to come off some of these things properly too. You know, not go binging on some hot dogs and fast food right away. But I tell you what, you're doing something like this and you're sitting and watching TV all day, every ad, some food commercial, it's going to be absolute torture. It's easier doing something like this when you're constantly busy. Absolutely. I feel that when you take your supplements, you won't be starving as much. I slip off a little bit on my weekends when I've taken all my supplements, and I can definitely tell the difference due to the fact that I want to eat more crap. When I take all my, my 91 things, my kale and my multivitamins, my PDCM, B vitamins, whatever I'm taking throughout the week, I don't feel like binging out on things. Keep yourself nourished. The more nourished you are, the least, uh, less likely you are to go out crazy on all the other things here. Here's a third one, Isogenics. This is pretty cool. Go to isogenics.com. They have a 90 day program or a 30 day program. This is your simplest one right here. They give you all the information packets and you're pretty much just juicing with that there too. They give you all the stuff you need there. That's pretty basic and easy. And economically, that's probably your, probably your second one up there. It's the standard process one, and when you get those four supplements, four or five supplements, you gotta make sure you're getting the, the fruits, the vegetables, you know, that could add up a little bit there, depending on what you get, but like I said, if you're not a heavy fruits and vegetable person, you'd be, probably be like me and get sick of them after three, four days, and just start doing the shakes from there. Joint overhaul. Three chondrosamine plus, three ligaplex, two, three bios. Feed your joints. That chondrosamine plus is an all-star product. I'm very impressed with it. When I started doing a treadmill regimen, which I hate running, my knees were aching. I could not believe taking that stuff in one week how it completely eliminated that that fast. People with low joints, Take your x-rays of your knees and you got low joint space in there. And you're kind of coasting towards a uh, joint replacement, a knee replacement, a hip replacement or something. That is what you'll be on period until you have that done. Until you say, all right, the pain's enough. I've had it. I'm getting it replaced. That is all. These are all-star products we use here with that. Yes. So do you recommend those all time or is it just a... We know that's like the heart thing. Uh, you can do it three months to build up your joints. Then you can jump into some fitness. Or if you've got the bad knees, the bad joints, the hip that's gone, that's something to stay on until you have that surgery. What if you've already had knee surgery? Do you still take that? 
Uh, you know, I probably would. Absolutely. One knee's gonna lead to a second knee eventually, most likely anyways. This Ligaplex 2 is an all-star supplement. I held my back, my dad back from hernia operation for about a year just with that Ligaplex 2. Completely sucked some of that hernia back and holding that in place. Stop the pain. He was completely amazed at his activity level was able to go up. Not as much problems with that Ligaplex 2. <clears throat> that product right there, we could put that on athletes and save about a million dollars per team because the first week of football and all these sports activities, all you hear is rip, tear, pull this, rotator cuff that. Athletes are completely fragile today because they're not getting enough minerals in their diet. The baseball player finally hits the ball and he actually has to do something. He sprints to first base and pulls his groin. <clears throat> this is the product these people need to be on. Protect your joints if you're going to get in a fitness regimen. Who's the manufacturer? That's standard process. This oh, is Biotics Research right here. here. That's standard process and that's standard process. We go back and forth. We want optimal results. We use two optimal companies, Biotics Research and Standard Process. Mm -hmm. Highest quality supplements you can probably get. Energy. This is me. Energy is motivation. If you don't have motivation, you're not going to work out. You don't have energy, forget it. You're not working out. A lot of you guys have busy schedules. You know, if you're working out in the afternoon, you're wiped out after work. I'm not working out. Energy is your motivation. B12. 40% of Americans are low on B12. 20% over the age of 65 are deficient on B12. And that is because the hydrochloric acid in your stomach activates the intrinsic factor to pick up that B12. Hypohydrochlorhydria is a huge is issue in the United States, and as you get older, you're not producing enough hydrochloric acid in your stomach, and you're not picking up enough B12. A severe B12 deficiency will mimic Alzheimer's in some patients. This is my energy right here. Four rhodiola and three super CLA. I do that in the afternoon. Dr. Tent's a slow goer. He'll pound this stuff in the morning, and he kind of rides on cortisol throughout the day. I kind of sink in the afternoon. That's going to be my energy booster. That's what I'm going to use. And I don't have to pound energy drinks before working out. And I'll get into that because I was pretty heavy in it. You know, I need to work out, but I'm too tired. I don't have enough energy. I'm not doing it. This is my protocol for dropping a few pounds. This is what I do. This is cutting out a meal and throwing a protein shake in there. In the morning, I do one Zorex with one Iodorol. That's my iodine. Power that thyroid, increase that metabolism, and one bile anabolic pack. Mid AM, one banana, some almonds. Lunch, I'm having a chicken salad or I'm having a piece of steak with some salad. <coughs> 4 PM, oats and whey protein. This is the other protein shake that we have that we kind of just whisper around in the office because we don't talk to me about this with the patients. If you're getting in a rigorous physical activity, you need some carbs good multi-grain carbs for energy. This has your whey protein and it has your oat. It's got some oatmeal in it. It's actually pretty tasty too. So if you're interested in that, ask us at the office because we we'll keep that downstairs kind of whispering around about that. <clears throat> then I did four rhodiola ginseng and three super CLA. And to keep my yap shut, stay away from the sugar, I'm doing that chromium. We can all use chromium. My workout, I get pretty heavy into some stuff, CrossFit, weight training, circuit training, interval cardio, P90X, MMA stuff. Interval training, cardio-wise, is the best cardiovascular workout you're gonna get. I'm not gonna waste my time in an hour on a treadmill. The studies that in the research state doing a 20 minute, 20 to 30 minute interval workout is more effective than wasting your time doing this little lollygag and stuff on the ellipticals or whatever. And it's, you're going two minutes hard, one minute slow, hard, slow, hard, slow, bring your up rate, heart rate up and down, up and down. And it's more effective 20, 30 minutes doing that versus lollygag and stuff on the treadmill for an hour. Okay. Is, is it interval, is it something like plyometrics? No, plyometrics, 
is jump training. And that's pretty good too. It's always good to switch up your workout. I'll be talking about that too because I'm kind of sore from doing a workout like that last week. But uh, it, interval training, you could either do it on a bike, do it on a treadmill, elliptical, some home equipment. It's doing workouts in a cardiovascular, you know, a heart rate monitor watch works really good with that to you know where your heart rate's at. But you're pushing your heart rate up, letting it come down pushing it up, that's why you're doing like a minute hard, a minute slow, a minute hard, a minute slow. And if you're gonna get into anything like that, highly, highly recommend playing your heart. If you're gonna do the simplest thing, at least 10 cardio plus a day. That's what I did before I jumped into that. Cardio is something, one of those things where you could, it takes forever to build up. You take a week or two off, and it's like you're back at ground zero kind of like that. So play your heart, you're gonna jump into some cardio stuff. Bioanabolic packs. I like this. It's a new product I've been getting in and I've been using. It's got five things in here. You got your glandular, you got your B vitamins, you got your probiotic, amino acids, chlorophyll. You got 31 packs. It's about, runs $34 for a pack. It's got five different supplements in it. I got some here I'm going to hand out here. And I tell you what, this GMO food is killing your guts too. The soy, the corn, and the tomatoes kills the good bacteria on your gut. And whether you think you're taking antibiotics or not, the foods you're eating, the meats, are loaded with antibiotics and killing your good gut flora too. It's always good to supplement with some good probiotics once in a while because 80% of your immune system is your gut. What about tomatoes? They're GMO also. Okay. They explain that. That food and ink will explain that. You want take some of these and pass them around. I'm going to explain. You can have these here too. This is what I take in the morning here. <coughs> you got five supplements here. you got a B vitamin, you got your glandulars, that feeds all your organs. You got your chlorophyll complex right there. Cleanses your blood, builds up your blood count. You got your probiotic, which feeds your gut. And got amino acid supplement pill right there. If you're gonna do some fitness regimen, you don't feel like buying a million pills, do some protein shakes, get some bioanabolic packs. That's some simple stuff. Simple way to go. I'm very impressed with that. Grab and go. Instead of having five different pills and making this little concoction in the morning, it's all packed up right there. That's your biotics research here. Yes. Yes. Yes, the Roundup Ready seeds. Yes, absolutely. And they're talking about now how the GMO foods and crops are killing off the honeybees. Very interesting. Monsanto, these farmers cannot go to court with Monsanto. He's too big. They'll completely rob him in court trying to fight him before they even get to the trial. And the farmers are poor as it is, and they keep them living poor. It's absolutely horrendous, and that's why I cannot preach enough to you guys to get that DVD, buy it or whatever, share it. Food Inc. It's huge. It explain a ton of that. So that's the bioanabolic packs. I'm very impressed with that. You guys can keep that there. Amino Sculpt. <clears throat> Got some information on Amino Sculpt right here. And Dr. Tan is saying, I was going to mention that here. This is something that we were using down in Georgia when I was down in school here at the one office. A lot of patients like this here. <sighs> It's packed with amino acids. It's liquid form, cherry flavor. You take it a teaspoon at night, and it, the certain amino acids that are in it puts you in a catabolic state, meaning that you're burning and breaking down fat as you sleep. How easy is that? You're losing weight while you're sleeping. I like this product too, because a lot of patients are reporting that they're sleeping very well. Patients that have a hard time staying asleep at night, 
it's a sugar handling issue. I will recommend them having a protein shake at night, but sometimes a protein shake makes them want to get up to go to the bathroom. So if you're only doing a tablespoon of this at night, it's not going to make you get up to go to the bathroom. This is pretty cool. We got that at the office there. It's got a collagen formula. I believe it's 50. It beats your skin, hair, nails too with the collagen there. It's a pretty cool supplement. And that was part of my protocol too. That's 50 at, that's 50 bucks there. Is that a brand name? Yes, uh, Health, Health Direct is a brand. Yes. Direct? Health Direct is a brand name. And that's what I use before I go to bed there. And then I, I'm sorry, I didn't explain. What's that? How much do you take a teaspoon? Uh, tablespoon. I didn't explain this here, but with my workout, after I get done working out, I'll cut out a meal when I'm doing a calorie restriction and do a protein smoothie. And if that's not enough, I'm going to do a high protein meal. Maybe just, I'll have breakfast or dinner. I'll just do eggs or and bacon or turkey bacon and eggs and cut out that third meal. And over time, cutting out a meal and supplementing with a protein shake, you'll easily start shredding some pounds without being getting into some complicated stuff. Working out late after work and getting home late, I'll just do a shake and it'll be, it'll be good enough for me to go to bed. I'm good to go from there. I don't get too complicated. I like to keep things simple there. And I'll make a smoothie. This one's a pro, this one up here is just a pure chocolate protein one there. This one has oatmeal and whey protein. This one I'll have throw some strawberries and bananas, bananas in there, so they all taste different and all protein shakes. Yes. How's that turkey bacon? Turkey bacon's all right. I'm gonna get a decent brand. Is that uh, is that organic or what? Ah uh, yes, Trader Joe's has a good organic turkey bacon. And the amino scope at night, boom. A lot of books will tell you, hang on one second, will tell you not to eat past 6 or 8 o'clock, which works great. We had some patients in the office trying to not eat past 6 or 8. Yes, you'll drop some pounds, but your sugar will tank before you go to bed and you'll have a hard time staying asleep. And I'll mention that, I'm like, I bet you have a hard time staying asleep. But yeah, how'd you know? I'm like, you, sh you know, it's good that you're cutting out those late meals, but your sugar's tanking and you're struggling to sleep. You're struggling to sleep. It's going to affect your adrenal glands. You're going to have less energy throughout the day. Six to five meals a day. I'm not going to do six, but four to five mainly. It's all you really need. And if you're going to cut out that dinner, do that amino sculpt before bed, stabilize that sugar, boom. Works very well. It's pretty cool. Yes, that's, that's perfectly fine. How long does the amino sculpt? I mean, how long does the bottle before, like for months? They say to do two bottles of it. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is no miracle diet no, pill. No, I mean, how long does it last for? Oh, how long does it last for? Yeah, I mean, is that bottle equal like 30 days? <laughs> I want to say, actually, you know what? It is about 30 days. I believe it is right around 30 days. Violent box, you know, skull. Inner drinks do not give you wings. I tell you what, you pound, and now we get patients in the office, and I not lying, they will do three to four of these things a day to get them going, and keep them going. You pound enough of these things, you're gonna make your chest so tight, you'll think you're having a heart attack. That caffeine constricts those arteries and will spasm that artery, coronary artery in your chest, and you'll get a heart knot. Catapults E2 and G helps dilate that. The caffeine from these things will completely roast your adrenal glands. And people dependent on coffee, pop, afternoon coffee, all these stimulants are slowly roasting their adrenal glands. Your adrenal glands are the most active in the morning and if they're roasted, yeah, you're going to constantly have that hard time getting going in the morning and be more and more dependent on the stimulants. I've got some cool alternatives this year. I like this little guru. You can go to Better Health, Grand River or anywhere. Guru Light is sweet with stevia. 
Stevia also is a nice sweetener that doesn't have the sugar. You're not using, using NutraSweet or any aspartame in it. So it's got some caffeine in it, but if you're trying to <laughs> wean yourself off of some of those other hardcore Red Bulls and all that, this is the way to go. This one's a little newer, it just came out. Same thing. Yeah, yeah you can check that out there. I've done this one, I think it tastes like Skittles there. I like it. So, I used to be the one pounding this stuff before workouts because I didn't have an, I'm not substituting an hour of sleep to get up in the morning for workout. I'm not that motivated. I'm gonna work out in the evening. And it's still hard to work out in the evening if you're roasted from work. So play your energy. Energy is motivation, it's huge. Find out what little stimulant things you like. If it's CLA and Glucuron is too much for you, use the regular C CLA. It's not going to push your heart as much. I'm used to all those hardcore things with the better on that. I used to work midnights. I'm going to use our hardcore stimulants. <clears throat> Fitness regimens. All right. Here we go. We're going to talk about some cool things. I'm going to work up on some basic things. If you've never done one thing in your life, the, the most extreme for athletes here. Rebounding. Anyone who's serious about rebounding here, I got a little book. If you think you're interested in buying a rebounder at the office, which runs, you know, how much do they run? How much? 235. 235. If you're serious about it, you can grab this book here and take that. 235. I'll give you my little rebounding story. I have not been out snowboarding in the last two years since I've been down in Georgia schooling. A month and a half before hitting the slopes, I was on this rebounder. No more than 20 to 30 minutes a day. I'd say three to four days a week. And I've never felt so stable on my core than I ever have before. It. I felt like I never left the mountain. I was completely impressed. I'll use this on my off days from the gym when I'm just too tired or feel like doing something a little light. Throw this in front of the TV. We don't sell the bar on this thing right here, but geriatric people that had the balance instability, that works great. The only downfall to this right here, the back patients. You got some vertebral back issues. <coughs> disc in between your back here, do not like that bouncing effect if you have a hot back going on. So some of our back patients complain a little bit about that. Know your limitations. Don't push it. A lot of people try to overdo it in the first week and they get hurt. Just want you to know you can get the bar, it's an extra cost. Alright, so an extra cost. <coughs> These are all the benefits of rebounding right here. Increased breathing, oxygen, depression, blood pressure, help prevent cardiovascular disease. This is huge right here. All these people with lymphatic issues in their feet pumps your lymphatic system in your body. It circulates this all around. It decreases your cholesterol, your triglycerides, enhances your digestion and elimination, helps with sleep, sharper learning, cold allergies, just helps fight it all off. It is huge. This is why Dr. Tim preaches this all the time. It's simple stuff. You don't have to jump 10 million feet for this. Actually, with people that had the lymphatic issues, we just have them do just a simple little stuff. When I'm on this, I, I'll twist, I'll do some jumping jacks, I'll jump side to side. I keep it simple. Don't get too complicated. You don't need to launch in your living room tables and all that. Don't get it hurt yourself. So, yoga. This is cool. We got a lot of patients and back come to the office that enjoy this right here. The main benefits increases your strength, posture, and flexibility. This will help. Keep your core. I tell you what, I'm not a flexible person. This stuff kicks my butt, sadly to say. Touching my toes is a challenge, so yes, yoga is challenging for me. A lot of patients love this. The stretching is very beneficial. A lot of core stuff. 
If I could have patients do some simple workouts to help maintain their adjustments, simple core workouts go a long ways to help stabilize low backs, necks, backs in general, period. Our core is huge. This is approved by me. There's some yoga stuff where they can put you in a cooking room. Forget what it's called, about 105 degrees and make you stretch. So, yeah. If you like the smell of other people while you're doing this stuff, <laughs> have at it. It doesn't sound like my thing, but <laughs> I've heard some patients like it. <clears throat> Walking. We preach a lot about the MBTs, but if you want to be a little bit more economical in these times here, the shape ups through Skechers are only about 100 bucks. Look, it firms your calf muscles, reduces cellulite, and tones your thighs, firms your buttocks, tightens your abdominal muscles, strengthens your back, improves posture, improves blood circulation, all that stuff in that simple shoe. Yes? The MBTs, because of the Skechers, their prices come down. Oh, really? No kidding. Good. Thanks for mentioning that there. <clears throat> They say the equivalence of walking one mile in these shoes is like walking two miles with that little slope there. This is simple stuff, it's getting warmer. Get out there, walk, soak up that vitamin D, simple evening walks. This is the most basic thing you can do. If you can't do that rebounding that aggravates your back, start getting a little walking regimen. Simple, simple stuff. Do you recommend the Reebok brand too or just Yes, absolutely. I saw that brand, you know, pick and choose. Some people said that Reebok brand kind of makes them a little bit yeah. unsteady. So, you know, a lot of people have some balance issues. You got to be careful, kind of pick and choose on that. Uh, Jeff, I sell Avon, and in our Avon catalog, we have those shoes from Curves. Mm -hmm. And they're only about $49. Cool. Mm -hmm. so yes, absolutely. Good deal. Good deal. Okay. I also recently learned, but I haven't had a chance to check it out. Supposedly, if your MBTs start to wear out, you can send them back to the company. Oh, really? And they will re just you know resell them, so you don't have to do the major That's investment good. all over again. So Kelly might have to do that. She had a baby, and she kind of wore through her uh, yeah. MBTs with that extra weight. Had a question up here? No, I was going to say it's like fifty seventy five bucks. So Good, good, good. Yeah. Circuit training. You want to combine your weight training and your cardio all in one. This is pretty cool. You're moving from station to station, doing light reps or high reps with low weight, keeping your heart rate up, resting a minute in between things here, and just set up your stations and keep going back and forth half hour, something like that, you knock it all out at once. You get your cardio and your weight training. You're gonna do about 20 reps per set. <clears throat> this is something that's probably not decent with the home gym here. Actually, this is a total gym. We had a, I had a patient a month back say that uh, Chuck Norris home gym is actually very sufficient for him. He's able to do a lot of things out of it. He enjoys it a lot. Pretty cool. This is what this one looks like here. It looks like one of those home gyms. And I got some stuff here from Powerhouse. That's where I work out at. Zero down, $19.95 a month. You can go to Planet Fitness, 10 bucks a month. Lifetime Fitness is more of a leisure activity thing. I don't see too many people working out there. They're kind of lollygagging. And talk on this. I see girls on the exercise machine doing the little workout, talking on their cell phone. No, if you're there to work out, just work out. But I'm not picking on the girls there. I see guys reading newspapers, doing bench pressing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun getting out of the house, working out, and just seeing the activity in the gym. It's kind of funny, but I've got some flyers up here for that. i got a personal trainer that comes to our office here. Her name is Alyssa Smith, and she wanted me to pass out some of these here at the lecture. She does some in-house training and even cons uh, consulting with you, some fitness tips or something, you gotta build a workout routine. Activity is huge. Need some type of activity. Simple stuff though.
pick and choose. I'm going up the ladder with things here. So you just got to pick and choose what's beneficial for you. Don't overdo your boundaries. Don't try to kill yourself. Walking, biking. Biking goes along with that walking. Biking is a great workout there. Get outside, get that air, so up that vitamin D. It's huge. How many times a week would you do the Three to four times a week. It's all on the lines of that. That works pretty well. And I'm going to get into these workouts where people hit these walls and they don't get results and then they get discouraged and kind of walk away from it. Weightlifting, if you're going to do a little weightlifting program, bodybuilding.com is great. It's got a lot of great information on there. You could build a specific program for you, learn to get optimal results, understand the science of your body, and you're either bulking or you're cutting. With bodybuilding, you're either trying to put on mass, eat calories, a lot of calories and put on mass, cutting, you're doing a lot more of the cardio, a lot more of other things to shred the fat. You got some cool tips. If you're gonna get into any type of weight activity, I highly recommend using some creatine. Creatine pushes water in the muscles of your cell, helps hydrate it, and gives you more muscular output and performance. Works pretty good. I use some creatine myself. That's an off-brand one from Vitamin World. So, some good stuff there. Yes? Do you lose weight from uh, uh, lifting? Weight? You will lose some weight. Now, here's the discouraging part that a lot of patients get into. If they start doing some weightlifting program, they're going to hop on a scale. And you might even gain a pound or two. You might gain weight because you're turning fat in the muscle. So you won't see immediate results from switching over to that. But yes, weightlifting is huge. And this right here explains how huge. I cannot highly recommend more this book of people who are getting pushed over towards diabetes and sugar handling issues. <clears throat> this is from Health Alert. And all these... Doctors who've been doing this forever highly recommend this book for these sugar handling issues here. Heavy muscular exercise is the only thing that your body does that sucks the sugar out of your bloodstream without the need for insulin. This exercise increases your HDL. Increasing your HDL lowers your LDL. This is why working out is huge. And this author right here, The Slow Burn, talks about doing slower or exercises at a slower rate get more of a burn and then suck that sugar into the cells to use for that glycogen it's absolutely huge if you're getting pushed towards that diabetic realm or have that sugar handling issue i recommend this book very heavily Justin, yes um you know if you're going slower when you're you know pumping for instance, mm -hmm. um, would you then if you're, you know, if, you're really, really the um, if you're doing slower weights, it's going to be harder. I might decrease the weight a little bit. Jillian Michaels. I just had a lady come in this today reading one of these books. I cannot highly recommend her stuff more. Uh, if you want to really know what it is to lose, what it's like to lose a pound, go home tonight. And try to catch the last bit of the episode of uh, the, the Biggest Loser. <laughs> She's awesome. She's got a lot of good stuff. The book that the patient was reading to you was Master Your Metabolism. These are the other two. Absolutely highly recommend her products. If you're interested in her workout routines, there's a DVD 20 minutes long. Do her little workouts. Denise. Thumbs up on that. Her daughter did it, lost a ton of weight. Cool stuff, at home stuff. People that don't want to get in the gym, don't want to deal with, you know, whatever. Do some in home stuff. Highly recommend her books. Whatever you feel like you're going to get into, pick and choose your things. Read and educate yourself more on it and kind of attack. Let's see. P90X. This. Is the only one, the only few TV things I really recommend and approve of. And I'll explain this here on the next slide here. You will get real results with this. 
Uh, my fiance is doing it back there. We got the DVDs for that. I'll get to show you some. All my buddies who have done this have gotten great results, and it's all because of muscle confusion. Everyone wants to do a workout routine. You should always change your workout routine every four to five weeks to avoid the plateau effect. Everyone does their little workout routine, hits this plateau, starts looking at the weight scale. The weight scale is not changing. They get discouraged and they stop doing their stuff. P90X works on the whole muscle confusion. Every 30 days, they're completely changing the workout. And on each of those 30 days, the diets are completely different. The first 30 days, you're doing a high fat, low carb type of diet. And then when the intensity <coughs> of the cardio workouts pick up, you're introducing more of those carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates to burn as fuel. And that's why a lot of these workouts don't work for people because they hit that plateau effect. It's huge. It's funny because we got our Olympic runner in the office. It's like, I can't lose weight. And all the back staff know exactly who I'm talking about. And you're constantly running and doing the same thing. You got to completely switch it up. Age is working against you. Age, your metabolism slows down. And go back to that endomorph slide and you'll see the difference of someone below 30 and above 30 with the certain workout routines and goals that you need to do to combat this. High fructose corn syrup is killing everyone. MSG is killing everyone. Know what's killing you. Stay away from it. <clears throat> Pick and choose some of your diets and things you want to do here. Jeff? Yes? Quick question about P90X. Is that good for somebody who wants to lose maybe just 10 pounds in a week or what's yes. the target? The people who want to really get ripped and you want to lose that last 10 pounds and everything you're doing is not working it, you'll, you'll completely get every bit of that result from that P90X. Pick and choose. They scale everything down. You know, a lot of those workouts a lot of people can't do, but they have, in the videos, they have four people working out and they completely scale it down for the people who aren't as fit as the other ones. And it's all at home stuff too, so it's kind of cool. I completely approve of that there. And for your most extreme athletes right here, this is your military, your officers, police people. This is the type of training and things that they get in the CrossFit. This is huge here. I'll do these type of workouts here. We completely scale them down. If you're interested in that, they should post their workouts, CrossFit.com. They have certain CrossFit gyms. There's one out in Ann Arbor called HyperFit. Memberships are very pricey though. So if you're really gonna take your fitness serious and you know you're willing to push out the dollar, CrossFit's huge. You will see results with that, and they do a lot of group workouts, so it's it's pretty cool. Check out the website CrossFit.com. Get adjusted. All the top athletes have chiropractic. It's kind of funny because Tiger Woods tweaked his neck about a week or two ago in golfing, and he's supposed to be a poster boy for chiropractic here. <laughs> yeah. ESPN reports his modalities of treatment was massage, rest, and steroid injections. Wow. He had a worthless, expensive MRI to tell him that he had some inflammation in his neck. Duh. You can't turn your head one way. You tweaked it. Yeah, you're going to have some inflammation in there. Pretty, pretty interesting. But Lance Armstrong, Tom Brady, Wayne Gretzky, Thomas Jones from the uh, uh, New York Jets had a rib out of place. Medical doctors don't realize ribs could go out of place and cause people havoc. $20,000 worth of specialists. Finally went to the chiropractor, got the rib pop back in place, and was good from there. Cool stuff. Simple adjustments. You want optimal performance. You want optimal structure. You're in pain. Get out of pain. <clears throat> get adjusted. Are you going to do any fitness things? If you're exercising, you're going to hold your adjustment a lot better, too. Like I said, I'm going to start teaching some core workouts, some spinal hygiene stuff in the fall. Following Dr. Tent's next lecture, I'll be doing a monthly thing. 
at the beginning of each what uh, each month and doing some showing some stretches, those cox exercises, some good spinal hygiene stuff to our back patients. Their core workouts, you will hold your adjustments ten times longer. <laughs> Do not get discouraged from doing workouts and hopping on that scale. Fed up with how her diet is going, and Charlene takes on a more serious aim at her target weight. Yeah, a lot of patients in the office are trying to do things, they're hopping on a scale, and it's just not, the weight's not coming off, they're getting discouraged. Pick and choose your things, don't get discouraged with the whole weight thing, and just keep attacking. You, you're going to start feeling better doing a lot of these workouts. The benefits that you feel may even, out, even outweigh the pounds that you're not just dropping off right away. We had some patients in the office, if you're full of yeast, oh man, yeast, you will not drop weight easily. You can spit in a glass of water if your saliva sinks. That's a simple yeast test. Saliva should float. I've had patients where I've cleared 15 pounds off of them, and these are petite people and over the summer last year, just clearing yeast out of them. Carbs, just using the ADP, oregano oil. Uh, many herb garlic works great. But the ADPs are normally our first round when we're using that. Some probiotics work good. A lot of these people are using, you know, too many antibiotics for things. The antibiotics, infections are harder and harder to kill these days. People, to me, these antibiotics are being handed out like prescriptions of candy and the bacteria that it doesn't kill in people's body, it mutates and makes these infections stronger. MRSA, which is a hospital induced infection, uh, antibiotic resu uh, resistant staph infection, becoming more resilient in the hospitals. The number one cause of death in hospitals, infection. They give patients antibiotics before they even go to surgery, whether you have an infection or not. That's absolutely horrendous. And your health is what you invest in it. Getting behind in these times, it's not going to work. Obama's not going to take care of you. <laughs> this healthcare system that they're trying to push is going to suck. I worked at Mount Clemens General on the east side of the hospital for four years as a patient transporter. We used to get some Canadians in that hospital, and I was always like, you got the free stuff over there. Why are you over here? And they're like, no, nah, it's not as good as what you think it is. It's nice if you break your arm going and get wrapped up and get out, but... If you gotta wait eight nine months for an MRI, and you got some serious going on. You know, it's like you get your money's worth where you're at. But it's not a time to get behind in your health here. H two O. This is important here. You guys all need to hear this because everyone's chronically dehydrated. Thirst is commonly misinterpreted in the body as hunger. Thirst is commonly misdiagnosed in the body as hunger. Everyone's chronically dehydrated. I'm not going to give you a math formula of how much water you should be drinking. I'm going to tell you to drink until your urine's clear to slightly yellow. If it's bright yellow, you're dehydrated. That's simple. I don't, don't need no math equation. <clears throat> drinking more water will help you push the pounds off too. Absolutely huge. Salt. People... We will be preaching this all throughout the summer here. The first person who's going to drop dead during the summer is someone on a LASIK pill, on a low salt diet, because of their, they think that the salt's driving up their blood pressure, and they're going to go into cardiac arrest on that first day of warm weather. Salt hydrates your body. You need to use the right salt. Celtic sea salt. It's dirty gray because it has all the good minerals in it. Table salt's white because it's bleached and it has no minerals in it. And these are one of your cravings is salt, salty things. If it's not sugar, it's not fat. And if you're a salt person, pound the salt. Salt cravings is a key thing to adrenal insufficiency. Put it on everything, put it in your hand, put it on your foods, hit that hard there. People standing up, 
or from going from sitting to standing and getting dizzy, get that salt, get those cytosine AD, the adrenal stuff. Absolutely cannot preach that enough. Hydrating factors right here. Do you want to make a little period? Want to make a little gallon of this, a gallon of water, a gallon of Celtic salt, and uh, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> See, that'd be great. And a teaspoon of sugar there. It's a hydrating formula there. Can you supplement honey for sugar? I had someone ask me that. It doesn't mix. You can. It doesn't mix well in that water though. So I had some patients ask me about that. Yes. Now is this like a full time thing? If you want to these for you can do it full time. You won't taste it if you if the salt makes it a little too thick. Just use the sugar in it. That should be fine. In the hospitals, when they stick an IV in you and they're trying to hydrate you, it says 0.09% sodium chloride in those IV bags. Your body, your cells do not pick up water without salt or sugar. Don't, don't get into osmosis because I'm not going to explain osmosis here. But you need that salt or sugar to transfer into the cell. Yes? Use turbinado. What's that? Yeah, sure, not not oh, perfect. There you go. What about maple syrup? Maple syrup, I mm, yeah. I prefer the sugar stuff there. The hardcore sweaters, Cal ammo, four or five. If I'm doing a heavy workout routine, cardio wise, I'm just gonna throw that five Cal ammo in there too. Our athletes during the summer getting back in those fitness regimens and doing their things. We're going to use five calam with them or even some more. Robert Porsche comes in soaking. Yes. What kind of sugar? Are you talking about white sugar? Maple sugar, sugar, raw sugar. Raw yeah, raw absolutely. Raw sugar? Absolutely. Golden. And I tell you what, you watch that DVD of Sweet Misery and look at all the effects of aspartame, you will start getting back into using real sugar. And you'll see these, you see these pop companies. Coke and Pepsi going backwards, starting to put out, and you go to Costco or Sam's Club, and you could get the Mexico Coke or whatever, and get the cane juice in there and the real sugar. And it, they're, the public's slowly catching up on this. What is the Cal Elmo going to do? Is that like a salt? Yep, salt that's, yep that's just yours. Uh, if you don't feel like pounding the table salt and everything, but you need the salt, Cal Elmo's just the pill, that's your salt pill. We use that with the seasonal allergies, all the people getting you know, a little nasally, the itchy eyes and all that right now. Stay away from your citrus fruits, pond the calamo. Helps acidify your system and push your pH the other way and uh, offsets those allergy symptoms there. So it's very important. Is this a formula for you if you crave salt? No, it's just for a hydrating formula. Just to help keep you hydrated throughout the day there. What what indication is it if somebody consumes a lot of salt that craves it? If you use the right salt, like Celtic salt, your body has a well, it'll have a shutoff point. It's like using honey. Honey has a shutoff point. You do a tablespoon or two of honey, it's got the shutoff point. You do table salt and chips, you go crazy. It doesn't have that shutoff point. You do the high fructose corn syrup stuff, you're just going crazy on it. Does not, your body does not recognize it. That's why you need to stay away from certain things because it does not recognize that it's real stuff there. So, yes? What if you're doing a teaspoon of salted shoe salt, which I have and the cow and Perfect. Is that like too much? No, salt? not at all. Oh, okay. No. Dehydration is absolutely huge. If you're interested in the salt, Dr. Brownstein has a beautiful book called Salt Your Way Back to Health that explains the salt stuff pretty well. He's heavily in the Celtic salt. He debunks the salt myth with the blood pressure stuff. Good way, good easy reading book. What is this? It's called Salt Your Way Back to Health. Dr. David Brownstein. What do you think of cane sugar versus cane sugar? Cane sugar is fine. Anything better than high fructose corn syrup. I'm gonna take Eric's more high fructose corn syrup. I'm gonna take your homemade sugar over that high fructose corn syrup. 
I cannot preach hell. You pick up every, you pick up your ketchup bottle in your fridge at home. It's got that in there. It's everywhere. You go to a regular supermarket, you start reading these labels, you find out those little hidden names he was talking about over here. You're gonna see this stuff and everything. It's whack and everyone. It's, they're, all these cost-effective cheap things they're putting in these foods and additives. It's affecting everyone's health. Absolutely. My September lecture is going to be huge. Drug-induced nutritional deficiencies. I'm going to attack all the top drugs in the United States here and explain how they are pushing you, your senior family members into certain nutritional deficiencies. This will be very interesting here. I've got some things to give away here. You want to fax your orders and supplements over. Here's the stuff right here. This lecture will hopefully be recorded pretty well. <laughs> it's our first time recording this one. Yeah, what's that website? You got a website yes, I'm, I'm going to that. Very nice. Diverse Health Services is now on Facebook. Search Diverse Health Services for you younger folks if you're into the web stuff. And you'll run right into us. We put some cool links up there and we post lecture times and dates. And I did book this same hotel and spot for September 21st. Tuesday, September 21st, 6 to 8. That'll be for that lecture there. And I'm going to give away some stuff here. That's the end of questions, comments, concerns. My email's right there. Thanks for coming out tonight. And down here, this is important. If you want a copy of this PowerPoint, go to Yahoo. Go to Yahoo Mail. The username is DHS Chiropractic. The password is DHS777. You'll log right into the mail system. You can click the inbox and you'll see the lecture labels on there. And you could, once you click that, the attached file is the lecture. You can print up my lectures and I have my previous ones on there too. I'm going to give away some stuff and I'm going to test someone up here real quick. I've got some books up here. I want them all gone before I leave. All right. Whoever's interested in reading, but I was going to lecture or give off these books here on the table. I'm not going to force people to read it's things they don't want to read. The amino sculpt stuff's up here. Iodine. This is my women. Want my women. Here's your iodine book right here. No Grain Diet by Mercola. I'll get it. I got another one here for you too. This one right here is just like that. The Atkins, the Atkins Cookbook. Anyone interested in that? That's you over here. Yes, you can Oh, I just gave that one. Yeah. But that's a Dave David Brownstein book. Oh, actually, that was that one. Yep. You want a fitness one? Who's interested in doing a standard process purification program? I've got a bunch of things for the the uh, powerhouse gym right here. A few day passes. I wish I could have stuck some of the stuff under your seats here. I know it's a little unorthodox here. If you want, it, I just gave that book. If someone wants, this is part of the amino sculpt stuff here. It explains the whole weight loss stuff here. Thank you.